Hello, for today's level one class, we're going to follow on from last week. We're going to make it a little bit more difficult. We're adding a little bit more for the mid back, and then we're going to make the hip work a little bit harder as well. So, we're going to come on to hands and knees again, get started with our warm up. Hands below the shoulders, knees below the hips, just dropping the ribs down, lift the head up, and then drop the head down, ribs up towards the ceiling. Drop the ribs back down, lift the head up in front again, and then drop down again. Ribs up towards the ceiling, push the hands away from the body. Drop the ribs down, lift the head up, drop the head down, ribs to the ceiling, and then drop the ribs halfway down. Looking around the left arm, bring the left foot out to the side, try to get it further out than last week. Same thing with the right, coming out to the side, we're trying to increase our hip rotation here. And then back in, left from up and out to the side. We're also getting a side bend into the spine, helping to loosen it up. And then one last one on the right. And then back in, good. Left leg back behind the body, straight back, right arm in front, into some circles. And then change directions, keep the hips and shoulders still. To make this harder, make those circles bigger and wider. And bring the arms and legs in. Right leg back, left arm up in front. Little circles to begin with. And with each circle, make it bigger, wider, rounder. But keep the hips and shoulders still, and then change directions. Good. And bring the arms and legs back down. We're going to make that a little bit more difficult. We're going to bring the hips and shoulders to the left. Bring the right leg straight back behind the body. And then bring the right arm up in front. And you're just trying to get your balance. Arms and legs back down, hips and shoulders to the right, left leg back, and then left arm up in front. Try not to twist the body and open the chest up. Keep the shoulders and the hips level left to right, and the arms straight out in front. And then back down. Good. That's a difficult one, it'll take a little bit of practice. Hands below the shoulder for the next one, knees below the hips. Tuck the toes underneath the feet, pinch the shoulder blades together, back is flat, lift the knees up off the mat, and lower down. Good. And lift again, and lower, and lift, and lower. Next one, we're going to lift and hold. Instead of marching the feet like we did last week, you're going to try and walk the feet back a little bit further behind you. So lift the knees up, twist the elbows in, and then just walk the toes back two inches at a time. As far as you can, if you can come into the plank, perfect. Make sure the hips don't stick up into the air. Make sure the back is flat, keeping the hips tucked in. And then walk the feet forward. And then rest the knees in. Good. Let's turn over onto the back now. So, head resting on our block. Hands by the side. Imprint the spine. Bring the legs to the tabletop and then tap the right toes off the mat, back to the tabletop, and then the left, and then the right again, and then the left, and the right, and the left. Keep squeezing the back down the whole time. Remember, it's the most important thing we're doing here, and tap the feet away further and further and further each time. You can even start to tap with the heels instead of the toes, and then legs back to the tabletop, and the two feet. In nice and close to the hips. Keep focusing on the imprint. Keep squeezing the back down into the mat. Good. And one last one. Keep the back imprinted. Tapping the feet down. Legs back to tabletop. And then bring the feet down by the side. We'll grab our cushion again. Between the thighs. And squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the spine imprinted. Ribs are down. Eight, nine, ten. And hold. Lift the hips and lower down. Remember scooping the hips back, keeping the rib cage down, getting nice good extension as we lift the hips up and lower down. Keep squeezing that cushion nice and tight. Roll the hips back and lift, and lower, and lift, and lower, and lift, 
and lower last two. We're getting the adductors on the inside of the thighs working there, contracting the pelvic floor muscles. And down. And then rest. In front of the spine again. We're going to straighten the right leg. Thighs stay in line with each other. We're going to squeeze and relax. One, two, hands by the side. Three, four, shoulders are relaxed. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten. Bend the right knee. We're going to straighten the left leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep the spine imprinted. Eight, nine, one more, ten. And bend the left knee. So when we work the adductors, we want to work them in a few different ways. One is when the knee is straight, so we get the gracilis muscle. It's the only one of the adductors that crosses the knee. When it crosses the knee, we get that working more. We also want to get the hips or the adductors working when the hips are at 45 degrees, at the 90 degrees, and when they're at zero degrees. So we're going to come into zero degrees next. So we're going to imprint the spine, lift the hips up into a bridge, and squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. As you relax, make sure those hips stay up nice and high. They don't sink down every time you relax the knees. Squeeze and relax. Squeeze and relax. Keep the hips up really high. Good. Three more. Two. Last one. And then rest the hips back down onto the mat. Now, we've done zero. We've done 45. We're going to do 90 next. So imprint the spine. Hands by the side. Legs to tabletop. Squeeze and relax. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, two more, eight, sorry, one more, and hold there. This time, drop the right knee to the side, one, left knee to the side, two, right knee out, left knee out, right knee out, left knee out, right knee out, left knee, right knee out, and back in. Last one on the left, back in, grab the cushion, and bring the feet down. So, we've worked all the adductors in different ways. What we can do is, the adductors work by squeezing your legs together. They also have a mild work on twisting the knee in, and we're going to bring that into the next exercise. So, and stabilize the hips. We're getting that twisting in movement to stabilize with the twisting out movement. So, we're going to imprint the spine, bring the legs to the tabletop, and the cushion goes between the ankles. Keep the knees over the hips, and we squeeze and relax. Two. Because the cushion is between the ankles, there's a little bit more of a rotational component to this, and we have to stabilize that. So what we want to do is keep the shins parallel as you squeeze and relax. And squeeze and relax. So don't let the knees come in, and don't let the knees pop out. Keep those shins parallel the whole time. Keep the back imprinted. Shoulders are relaxed. And the last one. And then grab the cushion, and bring the feet down. Perfect. Lead the cushion down to the side. And then next we're going to come into some bridges. So give you a second. We're going to just do some one leg bridges on the left leg and then on the right leg. So imprint the spine. Bring the right leg into the tabletop. Hands around the front of the knee and then hug the knee into the chest. Imprint the spine and lift the hips up and back down. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and down. Right foot onto the mat, left knee to the chest, hands in front of the left knee, hug it in nice and tight, and then lift and lower. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, ten, and then rest the hips down and bring the feet down by the side. We're going to come into the hundreds next. So we started last week with the knees bent feet on the mat, and then we did second set with one leg and tabletop. If you want, you can repeat that again this week, but I'm going to try and push it on a little bit harder this time. So we're going to start with one leg and tabletop for each set of five. And then the second set, we're going to come into the two legs and tabletop. 
So hands by the side, imprint the spine, bring the right leg to tabletop, reach the hands to the bottom of the mat, tuck the chin in, roll the chin up into the chest and deep the hands. One, two, three, four, five and breathe out. Two, four, five and in. Two, four, five and out. Two, four, five and in. Two, four, five and out. Two, four, five and in. Two, four, five and out. Two, four, five and in. Two, four, five and out. Two, four, five. Rest the head down. We're going to switch legs. If you have one leg up, we're going to bring the left leg to tabletop. If there's any pain in the neck, put the pillow behind the head as we roll up. Roll the chin to the chest, head and shoulders up again, and beat the hands. Two, three, four, five, breathe out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, last set in. Four, five, breathe out. Two, three, four, five, rest the head. Rest the feet down onto the mat. So we're going for another set now in a second. We're going to do two legs on tabletop. Hands by the side again. Reach the fingertips to the bottom of the mat. So we bring the shoulders away from the ears. Tuck the chin in. Imprint the spine. One leg and then the second leg to tabletop. Knees and ankles together. Roll the chin up off the chest and beat the hands. Two, three, four, five, breathe out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, three, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, four, five, and out. Two, four, five, and in. Two, four, five, and out. Two, Four, five, three more breaths in. Reach the hands to the bottom of the mat. Out, two, four, five. Breathe in, two, four, five. Breathe out, two, four, five. Last one in. Three, four, five. And breathe out, two, four, five. Rest the feet down. Rest there, down. And we'll have a little rest there for a second. The next, we're gonna, next part we're going to do, we're going to work the lower abs. So we're going to do four exercises on that. I'm going to add in new on the roll-ups this week as well. Imprint the spine, bring the legs to the tabletop. We're going to straighten the legs to the ceiling and then small little flutter kicks back and forth so again, keeping the spine imprinted. Shoulders are relaxed, nice smooth breaths in and out, and keep the chin tucked in. Good. And if you, met, if you find it's a little bit easier, start to stretch those kicks out a little bit more. Always keeping one foot pointing up towards the ceiling as you're doing that. And then bend the knees to tabletop and rest the legs down. Imprint the spine for the next. We're going to roll the head and shoulders up. Any pain or anything in the neck, just put the cushion underneath the head and support it. So imprint the spine, bring the legs to tabletop, tuck the chin in, chin to the chest, head and shoulders up, right hand to the outside of the right ankle, left hand to the inside of the right knee, straighten the left leg, and switch. One, two, three. Ha outside hand always to the ankle, inside hand to the inside of the knee. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Bend the knees. Rest the feet down and rest the head down. Next, we're going to have two hands to the side of the head, very similar, but we're going to bring the two legs together at the move, two legs in and out at the same time, and the elbows in and out together. So, two hands to the side of the head, imprint the spine, legs to tabletop, tuck the chin in, chin to the chest, head and shoulders up, elbows into the knees, straighten and bend. Two, three, keep the head and shoulders up. As you bring the elbows apart, so don't let the head sink down towards the mat. Keep the head up the whole time. Good. Three more. Two more. Last one. Bend the knees. Rest the head down. And bring the feet down onto the mat. Last one for the lower abs. Imprint the spine. Hands are back by the side. We're going to bring the legs to tabletop. 
straighten the legs to the ceiling and lower the two heels down and lift up. One, two, very small lower, three, four, five, six, seven, keep the imprint, eight, nine, last one, ten, bend the knees and bring the feet down onto the mat. We're going to add a new one in today. We're going to straighten the legs down onto the mat. We're going to bring the hands back behind the head and you're going to fling the arms forward as hard as you can and you're going to roll up into sitting. So one, two, three, and up nice and tall at the top. Chest comes forward and then control on the way back down. Like that. Hands come back behind the head again. Fling the arms forward. Get momentum from the arms to lift yourself up. Chest up tall at the end and pinch the shoulder blades back. And then control on the way back down. Good. Three. Fling the arms forward. Up nice and tall. And then back down. We're going to go for eight. Four. We're halfway there now. Chest nice and tall. And back down. Four more. And up. And back down. Three more. Up. And pinch the shoulder blades on the way down. Last two to make it harder. Don't throw the arms forward as fast. Back down. And then last one. Arms forward, rolling up. Chest up nice and tall at the end. Keep the shoulder blades back, rolling back down. Control, 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 control. And then rest the head down. And then we're going to turn over onto our stomachs. So rest the head down. Two hands on top of each other. Rest the head onto the hands. You can turn the head to the side. Or rest the forehead on the back of the hands. We're going to imprint the spine. So tuck the hips underneath the body. And then relax. So we're trying to flatten the back edge where we're sitting here. So we're squeezing the glutes, squeezing the abs. And then relax. And squeeze again. And relax. So you can keep the head rest today. Squeeze and relax and squeeze and relax. One last one, squeeze and hold that imprint. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs. Pull the ribs down towards the pelvis using the abs. And then lift the arms, head and chest up just an inch or two and then back down. Good. And lift and lower. And lift and lower. Keep the shoulder blades together. Lift. And lower, good, keep squeezing the glutes, squeeze the abs, and lift, and lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, three more. Good, shoulders are away from the ears, and the last one, and then rest back down. Next one we're going to do, we're going to lift the legs up off the mat, so we're going to go for the same thing, but instead of lifting the upper body, we're going to lift the lower body. We're going to tuck the hips underneath the body, squeeze the glutes. And we're going to lift the left leg up, back down, then the right leg, and down. The left leg, and down, and the right leg. And the left, and the right, and the left, and the right, and the left. The last one on the right, and back down. So we're trying to keep the back as still as we can. And we're going to go for two legs now. So squeeze the abs nice and tight. Lift the two legs up, and down. Keep the knees straight the whole time. Lift and lower, rest the legs down between each lift, lift and lower, you have to squeeze the abs more than the glutes this time, so pull that rib cage down towards the pelvis, lift and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower, three more, squeeze the abs and lower, keep the back flat, two and lower, last one, lift and lower, rest the legs down. Next, we're going to bring the hands back by the side. So, hands are by the side, palms are facing down. You can have the head turned to the side, or you can have the forehead resting on the headrest. I'll keep my head to the side. Palms are facing down. We're going to twist the thumbs out and up towards the ceiling. We're going to lift the chest up off the mat. Chin is tucked in, and then lower back down. Get the hands as high as you can. Lift the chest up. And then lower back down. And lift. And lower. 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 And lift. And
and lower. Good. Lift and lower. Three more. Lift and lower. Two more. And lower. Last one. Lift up nice and high. Keep the chin tucked in. And then rest back down. Good. Next one, we're going to turn on to our side. So we're going to line the back up at the back of the mat. Rest the head down onto our headrest with our hand underneath it. Little sweep forward at the hips, feet to the front of the mat. This week you can make it harder. We're going to take little breaks between each um, exercise, but I'm going to get you to hover the bottom leg. So we're going to lift the two legs up two inches, up off the mat, and the top leg lifts up one, and down. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. 10, and then rest the two legs down. So by hovering that bottom leg, we can't use the glutes on the bottom leg, on the right side, to stabilize the body. So we put more pressure to the abs and the obliques on the left side, the upper side. We're gonna do the same again. We're gonna lift the two legs up two inches, top leg up six inches, and draw little circles with the top leg. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, change directions, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then rest the two legs, same. So we're trying to create stability on this left leg, or sorry, the right leg, the lower leg. What we're going to do is when we lift it up, we're going to keep it as still as we can. It's going to be a little bit harder for the next set because we're coming into those big circles, so the body will want to shake a little bit more. We want to keep that right leg, the bottom leg still. We want to keep the top hip, the left hip, as still as we can as well. So all that's moving is the left leg, the top leg coming around in big circles. So resting the head down onto our headrest. Lift the two legs two inches. Lift the top leg another inch, and then kick the top leg forward, up, back, and down. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, keep the hips still, nine, last one, ten, change directions, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, keep that back. Bottom leg hovering. Five, four, I can't speak. Keep that bottom leg up. Three, two, big circles with the top leg. One, and then rest the two legs back down. Find your hard to concentrate while doing these exercises. Last one we're going to do on this side. We're going to lift the two legs. We're going to cycle forward to the top leg. So again, lift the two legs up. Top leg up another two inches and cycling forward. One, two. We're going to keep this hip, top hip from shaking back and forward. Three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and backwards. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Last one, and then rest the two legs in. Grab the front of the top ankle while we're here. We'll stretch out the quads of the left leg. Good. So resting the body as much as can as well while we do this. Tuck the hips underneath the body so the back is flat. And then stretch that knee back. Good. And then straighten the top leg down. And you're going to turn over onto the opposite side. So I'm going to switch ends of the mat. And again, resting the head down onto the headrest with the hand underneath it. Back of the body lined up to the back of the mat, feet to the front corner of the mat. Get yourself comfortable. We're going to lift the two legs up two inches, top leg up, one foot into the air and back down. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, last one, ten, and rest in.
it's getting more hard work for the obliques here. Next what we're going to do, we're going to come to a small circles. Two legs up two inches, top leg up another six inches, and circles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Change directions. Nine, eight, seven. Keep the two legs up six, five, four. The bottom leg, the left leg this time is staying still. Two, one, and rest the legs back down. Next one is the big circles. It's hard to keep that bottom leg still and the top hip still. So we're going to focus on them as well as nice big high wide circles. So lift the top legs up, lift the two legs up two inches. Top leg comes forward, up, back, and down. One. Nice big circle. Two. Hips stay still. Three. Four. That left leg doesn't move. Five. Six. Seven. Nice smooth circles. Eight. Nine. Ten. Change directions. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one, and then rest the legs down. Nearly there. Last of the hard exercise, we're going to lift two legs up again and we're going to cycle forward. Two legs up two inches, top leg up another two, and forward. One, two, three, four. Five, six, keep the shin parallel to the floor. Eight, nine, ten, and change directions. As that knee comes up, make sure it doesn't drift down towards the floor. It stays up nice and high. Three, four, five, six, keep that bottom leg up nice and high. Eight, nine, last one. 10 and rest the legs down. With the right hand, grab the front of the right ankle, or the top hand grabs the front of the top ankle, flatten the back out, and then stretch the knee back. Don't let that top leg pull up towards the ceiling. Keep it down nice and low. And a nice good stretch on the front of the quads. Good, so that's all the hard work done. Turn over onto your back, we're going to stretch out a couple of muscles in the hips, and then we're going to stretch out the neck. So, resting on the back, we're going to focus on the glutes today. We're going to straighten the left leg down, the left hand on the outside of the right knee, right hand resting by the side. We're going to pull the right knee across the body over the left hip, but we're going to keep that right pelvis stuck down onto the mat. So we're not twisting the whole body, we're just focusing on the glutes. We want to hold that stretch for 30 seconds. The first 20 muscle fights back. It tightens up a little bit. After 20 seconds to 30 seconds, it loosens out. So you get all of the stretch, all the benefits then. And then we're going to switch legs. We're going to bring the right leg down onto the mat. Left leg in towards the chest. Right hand the outside of the left knee. And then bring the left leg across the body. And the same thing, holding it for 30 seconds. The knee is coming over the right hip, so you shouldn't feel too much of a pinch on the inside. If you do, drop it down a little bit more towards the knee. If you can come up a little bit higher towards the shoulder, as long as you're feeling stretch in here, it's okay. If you find a pinch on the inside of the hip, just take a little bit easier and just gently stretch into it. But we want to try and get as much of a stretch onto the glutes here. We've worked them quite hard today, the bridges and the legs at the side. Good, and then come back to the middle. We're going to stretch out the hip joint itself. We're going to bring the right knee in towards the chest, left leg straight down onto the mat, and hugging that knee into the chest, make sure you can't see your right ankle. It should be hidden behind the knee. And this one, you might find a little pinch on the inside of the hip. That's fine. We're trying to stretch out the joint itself this time. And with a joint, you can gently bounce at that end range back and forward, but make sure it's not aggravating that front of the hip. One last one. 
and then switch. So left knee to the chest, right leg straight down. And again, little bounces back and forward. Because it's a joint, we're not stretching out the muscles now, so we don't have to hold it for 30 seconds. We can work into it a few times. Some gentle little bounces, it starts to pull and stretch out the capsule around the hip. The capsule is what keeps all the fluid in the joint. It's part of the ligaments around the hip as well. So we're starting to very gently stretch that out. And one more, and bring the legs down onto the mat. So the left foot is on the mat. We're going to straighten the right leg to the ceiling. Two hands around the back of the right thigh, and we're going to floss the sciatic nerve today. So, legs straight to the ceiling, pump the ankles up and down. As you do this, you'll feel a kind of a sharp sensation coming down towards the calf, like a sharper stretch. Shouldn't be anything painful, but you might feel a sharper stretch down there, and you can gently work back and forth, trying to loosen up any adhesions, any scar tissue around the sciatic nerve. And then switch sides. Right foot is onto the mat. Left leg is around the back of the left thigh. And the same thing again. So we're pumping up and down. This one again, we're not, we don't have to hold for 30 seconds. It's a bit more like a joint. We're not looking for the muscle to loosen out. We're just looking to gently move back and forth. Pulling the static nerve from one end and then releasing it. And any little adhesions around it, it will be loosened up and freed gently away from. Good, and last one, and then the left knee. Left foot onto the mat, and the last thing we're going to do, we're going to come up into sitting, we're going to turn the head to the right, look down towards the right side, right hand over the top of the head, and we're going to stretch out the left side of the neck. So this helps take away any tension that's in the neck. Bring the nose as close to the armpit as you can. And then switch sides, over to the left, right hand down by the side, and left hand over the top of the head, stretching the head down, right shoulder relaxed. Good, and remember bring that nose as close to the armpit, so looking as far down towards the mat as you can, don't look out in front. You get a stretch into the levator scapula muscle, coming from the base of the skull here to the top of the shoulder blade. And then come back to the middle. We'll finish the lash and see you next week.